Hey guys, welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. Today we are continuing on with the archway. Okay. It's amazing how much one screw can do. We'll just get a couple more to tack it in place. Okay, so there's a couple ways we could do this next part. The first thing I did was I went behind here and I poked a tiny little hole out right where the archway starts. And I'm gonna try my hand at routering this whole thing out. Although I only have half inch plywood to guide it against and I don't have a big door and window bit in my router. I just have like one of the regular ones for boxes. But we'll give it a go. And then after that, we'll try it another way on the other side. Well, uh, that was the way to do it. I almost don't even see the point in trying the other way, but let's just figure you don't actually have one. Maybe there is another way we could do this. Okay, now we have the super fun task of using the keyhole saw up the side of the jam. I hate that method, honestly. So, we can't snap out a circle, but we can snap chunks out. So it's time to chunk it out. We can snap out triangles. So let's get just kind of close to it. Oh, wait, no, we can't snap out triangles like that. We'll get there eventually. This is a little bit like that dude doing the gyp rock laugh, it's that kind of thing. Okay, let's get a little bit closer if we can. I bet if we make some relief cuts. do so you could do this like this if you had to maybe leave it just a tad long and then you can rasp it back or clean it up with the keyhole saw but this is working Where there's a will, there's a way. So it's not a million percent perfect, but it's a good start. Because we still have two layers of quarter inch drywall to put on here. And for chunking it out with the keyhole saw, this side actually turned out pretty good too. It'll still be a really smooth radius once we get that quarter inch on. So if you're handy with a router, I would say router it out. But if you're intimidated by that and you think you can chunk it out, chunk it out. Okay, we'll get back to this tomorrow. Uh, I don't feel like boarding the rest of this tonight. Okay, I'm finally back to working on this. I actually boarded the whole place and then left this to almost last. So, I got some strips a quarter inch 
I'm kind of worried that these are going to break if I try and actually bend it to this all at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to lunch and I'm going to pre-bend these and hopefully that does something. You know, I've heard of people doing a lot of different things. I've heard of people wetting the drywall before bending it. I'm actually almost considering doing that because when I tried to curve one piece, one little piece this much, I did actually snap it. I've heard of people rubbing fiberglass on the back. I've heard of a lot of interesting little methods. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so I've just had a coffee, which has given this board hopefully some time to get some memory for that curve. One thing you definitely wanna make sure of is make sure to mark all of the centers of all of your little fastening studs. And what I started to do towards the end was put a screw right by it, but I didn't. That's the easiest way, screw, screw, at each one of these. That would be the easiest way to do it without having to go and mark it again. Is it going to fit easily? Oh. Yeah, not bad. So I have this horrid and possibly misguided idea that I think I would like to try fastening both of these at the same time. So I'm just gonna put one screw in for starters. We've got two layers. I just, I'm just going with it. I'm not necessarily suggesting that's what you do on yours if you're doing an arch, but it seems to make sense to me right now. We'll see what I think in a bit. So regular drywall screw easily goes through both layers. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eyeball them and make sure that it's straight before I put a second screw in down here. Cause there's not gonna be a lot of adjusting room if you install your pieces out of square. I also cut these pieces about a 16th bigger than the actual opening so that I can shave down the edges and get a nice tight fit. Oh, it broke already. Okay, well, let's keep going. The taper will have to fix that. I wonder if this would have happened if I used one layer at a time. Well, that's not working at all. I'm gonna try one piece at a time. Okay, take two, one piece at a time. Oh. That'll probably work. Look at that. You know, the thing I worry about here is like, as soon as you put a screw in, it gives it a weak spot where it wants to break. Oh. So as soon as I pushed hard, that's what it did. Let's go somewhere that it seems pretty flush. There's one. This is a tight radius, you guys. I think we need to try soaking the drywall because it's just gonna keep breaking. Like, I could try again. We did such, we did such a nice job on getting a good frame, but as soon as you put a screw in, it wants to break. I might just go with it and try soaking the next piece because it seems to be going right now. going. Now it's going good. Do I dare put another screw in? Oh, I shouldn't have done it. Wow, that did not go as expected. The closer towards the end that I got, the harder it got, as you can see by the amount of screws I started adding. Overall, you know, we got it pretty tight. There's a few little kinks that'll probably get worked out by the corner bead, but man, that was not easy. So because of that, I'm gonna give this a couple minutes in the shower, see if that helps. 
I have a gut feeling that all this is going to do is make it worse. But at least we'll know because I already have a snap here because now the, uh, the paper is way weaker. But whatever, may as well try. Uh, start on the bottom and work my way up. Like, yeah, it's just turned the paper to mush. <laughs> At this point, I might just go with it. I'm getting frustrated. Taper can fix it. If this is the only way I'm really using my head through this whole thing, that's fine. I don't know, if it didn't make it easier to snap, I might say it's actually helping. Because it's definitely bending easier now. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Gonna have to give it a while to dry out too. I'm not making any conclusions until the very last one. Okay, 100% wetting it helped. It definitely made it break um, easier in a way, but it also made it conform to those curves way easier. So um, if I was gonna try this again, I would have wet the first piece too. For sure that was easier. Having a second pair of hands would have made this way easier though. Well, you guys, it's done. Let's get a look at this. Because I left it till last, I had to chunk it in because I didn't have any rips left. But as we can see, in the end, I actually got a pretty good radius and it's tight all the way around. But that was not easy. That was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting this to be like a little 10 minute job. Okay, my final thoughts on boarding the arch. This is what I've learned from my experience. So I don't think it was ever a good idea to try and do both pieces at once because if you break it, you break them both. I think pre-bending them was a good idea, but maybe pre-soaking and then installing the pieces one at a time. Because when you install them one at a time, if you break one of them, you're probably not gonna break the next one in the same spot, and so you don't get a double kink. Your second layer gets a chance to smooth out over that first kink you might have created. So those are my final thoughts on it. Overall, I'm happy with it. It's nice and tight. It's a smooth radius. I think the corner bead shouldn't be too hard of a job, but I underestimated this one. Also, a really quick note for anyone that watched the framing and arch video, it doesn't have to be a full um, diameter of the opening. You could always do a shallow arch. So instead of taking half this opening, you could take, you know, a larger chunk of it, make your radius bigger, and then you're gonna have an arch that goes up to a point, and then it's gonna flatten out more like this. So if that's more to your taste, you can do that just by increasing the radius, making it bigger than half of your opening until it looks like what you want it to look like. And on closing, you guys, as always, I hope your projects are going well, but I hope you're doing even better. I wanna thank you for watching the video and sticking around to the end. Till the next one, you guys.